Hello YouTubers, this is NJ Fullwater 5 and this is an OLED T12 Hacko uh, DIY kit I threw together. As you can see on the side, I put an adjustable buck converter with the fan. Right now I have that at 13.7. I also have a switch where I can turn it on and off as needed. Uh, let's see. You can see the fan right there. And that keeps the power supply cool. Power supply is one of those WXDC 2416s. It's a 24 volt 6 amp. It's actually 24 volt 9 amp. I'm not sure why they write 6, but it goes all the way up to 9 amps. At the front, I have a the Hacko OLED T12 uh, board. It's connected to the 24 volt uh, power supply. On the side I have a on, on, off, on button. Uh, forward gives me power from the mains and the 24 volt power supply. If I push it all the way back I have a DC jack right here that I can plug in a DC power, I can plug in a battery pack, it runs on 24 volts. Um, whenever I decide to do that all I have to do is push this button back and it'll run on battery or this DC jack. Uh, running on and of course this is the mains plug right here. It takes maybe a few seconds to warm up as a matter of fact, I'll show you right now. I have it set at 350 degrees. Power on. There we go. I've actually got it calibrated too. It allows you to calibrate it. The uh, soldering iron is also another kit I threw together. I think I actually did a video on that one. I'm not sure how good the video is. This is one of the first videos I did. Unfortunately, uh, I didn't do a video on this. That's why I'm doing this right now. But I built it with uh, Lexicon. Lexicon or instead of plexiglass. I've been using this probably for almost uh, six to eight months with not one single issue. It uh, falls asleep after, if I don't use it, I think I have it set for 10 minutes and it falls asleep. And then it wakes back up with me just simply picking up the soldering iron or I can press this button like this. And it goes, it puts it in like a cool down mode and I have it set around 200 degrees. Might be 250 I have it set. Sorry for the shakiness. Yep, I have it set around 200. Cools down pretty quick too. The soldering tips I also got from Hacko. I'm not sure about the board. I'm not sure if it's fake. The people I bought it from I swear it's uh, original, but you know. Oh, I have standby set at 150. 27C. That's a pretty good number. It keeps it warm until I need it again. And then simply picking it up and just a little shake or even picking it up and it takes a second for it to eat back up. By the time you by the time you get your uh, soldering iron to whatever you need to be soldered, it's already heated up. It's a, it's a pretty good design. There's a lot of menu. I don't want to run through right now because I'm still learning. I basically set it and just forgot about it. I think they have this rated at 70 watts. But I've had that tip so hot that it was red and glowing. So 
that was a learning curve. I didn't know how to, I didn't know how to uh, calibrate it when I first got it. I thought the calibrating meant, you know, I thought it meant one thing when it meant another thing. And so I totally calibrated it the wrong way and looked down and my tip was glowing red. So I'd reset, reset it and then I figured out how to use the calibration mode. Sorry for the shakiness. I used the Klein tool to calibrate it. It's off. This little switch in the back shuts off the mains and shuts off the fan. There's the back. There's the DC jack. There's the buck converter. I have a little hole drilled so I can adjust it as I need it. That usually don't really have to adjust it too much. This stays pretty cool. I con I constantly measure it with this. This seems to be a pretty good item to the newbie infrared these are cheap pretty accurate too I can take a battery pack with I try to keep it around 24 volts that seems to be what everybody else uses the switch is grounded I actually have this part of the switch. Uh, this is actually, I have this, the earth. This is earth except for whenever it's on battery power, of course. It's pretty solid, pretty simple. I believe I got this for 10, maybe 12 bucks. The OLED I got for about 15, I believe it was. A dollar buck converter LED fan I just had salvaged DC jack small uh, switch pretty simple to build I also used uh, I don't know if you can see that let's see I used uh, balance cables. I believe I used a 5S. Used a 5S balance cable in the board and connected to my switch. soldering iron it probably took me a day to build and I've been using it straight non-stop for probably I, I want to say six months you got to make sure when you get a power supply also you don't get the cheap 24 volt there's actually a cheap version that they have out there that they actually sell with the kit 
you want to stay away from that that board that board does not have enough amps if you don't have enough amps it will take this a long time to uh, get to temperature if you have enough amps it takes it seconds I've uh, I've used it with a 12 volt 2 amp DC and it took it about three minutes to heat up the two amps was not enough for the uh, board right here to uh, send the power to the, the uh, soldering iron so there it is please like subscribe and share and thank you for watching